every dog is endearing in their way. However, some dog breeds stand out owing to their personalities, and these dog breeds include the Malamute, Huskies, and Samoids. Malamutes, Huskies, and Samoids have all touched our hearts and homes not only because of their outstanding appearances but also because of their huge and attractive dispositions. So, if you're wondering which of these three mood-boosting dogs to adopt, don't worry, since this article has you covered. Hopefully, this video can assist you in selecting your ideal dog by providing information about the Malamute, Husky, and Samoid breeds. Alaskan Malamute The Alaskan Malamute was bred to pull sleds and labor by the Anupiat people, who descended from the Malhamut clan some 5,000 years ago. The Alaskan Malamutes derive their name from this tribe. These are some of the earliest polar sled dog breeds in Alaska. For a long time, scholars and mal enthusiasts believed that these hardy species were descended from Arctic wolves. Due to genetic similarities, studies have revealed that the Alaskan Malamute is a descendant of the Siberian Husky and the Alaskan Husky. These lively and colorful canines are noted for their dedication to carrying out the responsibilities that have been set for them. Despite their intimidating and muscular appearance, these hounds are extremely loving toward their owners, extroverted, and quite lively. The Alaskan Malamute may be fairly pushy and stubborn, especially if you haven't established who is the alpha in the family. So don't be afraid to criticize its poor conduct. Don't yell or scream at your dog, offer directions with authority, and always praise excellent behavior with goodies. Samoid Samoids were bred by the nomadic Samoyeds, who lived in the tundra of northern Russia Siberia approximately 1000 BCE. These hounds were developed to herd reindeer, pull or drag sleds, and hunt game. Around the mid-1800 seconds, European explorers had the opportunity to connect with these easy-to-love dogs, and they were eventually transferred to England. European missions to the Arctic and Antarctic poles included Samoids. After spending time with the Samoyed people, a British zoologist called Ernest Kilburn Scott dubbed this unusually outgoing canine Samoyed. These kids and pet-friendly canines are naturally lively and enthusiastic. Their gregarious, joyful and non-aggressive demeanor have made them popular among most dog owners in the United States. It is crucial to realize that Samoids may be rather headstrong, especially when mistreated or bored. To keep your clever dog from being violent and destructive, keep them occupied by supplying them with toys or acquiring another dog buddy. Siberian Husky The Siberian Husky were born to run, and they sure lived up to their innate running instincts when they ran for 340 miles to save a diphtheria-stricken town. These hound has been in existence for the last 3,000 years. It was bred by the Chukchai people to help them in pulling sleds. This breed was recognized and registered by the American Kennel Club in 1930. The Husky is quite an independent dog, to the extent that it may focus more on its needs that it even forgets about you or other pets around it. Despite their love for themselves, these hounds are quite kid and pet friendly, and they won't cause any tantrums when left with other dogs of different breeds. You can learn everything you need to know about Huskies by watching the video above. Malamutes are very heavy shedders. Although Huskies shed significantly less than Malamutes and Samoids, and Samoids shed more than Huskies but not more than Malamutes, Samoids bark a lot. The Huskies bark moderately, while the Alaskan Malamutes, on the other hand, rarely bark. Size Malamutes are 20 to 25 inches long. This makes them bigger than the Husky and Malamute. Huskies are 20 to 24 inches long, bigger than the Samoid but smaller than the Malamute. Samoid is 18 to 24 inches long. It is the smallest of the three dog breeds. Out of the three dog breeds, the Samoids hold the number one title for the most time required to groom this dog breed adequately. The Malamutes rank number two while the Huskies rank number three. So if you are looking for a hound that requires less time to groom, I recommend that you adopt a husky as it only needs its hair to be brushed once a week and bathed one time a month. Malamutes are more sensitive than both huskies and Samoids dog breeds. Samoids are a bit more sensitive than huskies. Health conditions Samoids are more susceptible to acquired and genetic health conditions than the husky and the Samoid dog breeds. Malamutes tend to have more medical conditions than husky. This makes the huskies have the least number of medical conditions plaguing them. Independent nature Malamutes are more independent than Husky and Samoid and don't mind spending hours alone. Husky is mostly independent due to limited time alone. If you choose to adopt these loving Samoids, you will have a hard time leaving them alone for a long. Malamutes are a bit more aggressive than the Samoids and the Huskies. All of these dog breeds, whether Malamute, Husky, or Samoid, make wonderful family pets and, to a lesser extent, protect dogs. Malamutes seldom bark, Huskies moderately, and Samoids often. When compared to Huskies and Malamutes, Samoids are more prone to health problems. When compared to Husky and Samoid breeds, Malamutes can be fairly aggressive. To live a healthy dog life, all three of these breeds require daily activity and regular doctor visits. 
Proper nutrition also contributes significantly to these dogs' life expectancy. Adequate socialization and training of these hounds should begin while they are young to avoid a contest for supremacy. Ensure that you adopt your dog from a certified and known breeder to avoid getting a pup with a low-quality genetic makeup that may predispose it to hereditary diseases. Before adopting any of these life-enhancing dogs, ensure that you fully understand your personal preferences and make certain that they align with your dog's temperament. Don't forget to install a high fence that goes at least 5 to 6 feet below the ground if you choose to adopt a husky, as these dog breeds have a high potential of escaping.